Hi everyone, welcome back to the History of Football channel. Today I'll be doing another video and this time it's going to be another defunct competition. Recently I've done the Texaco Cup, the Anglo-Italian Cup and the Anglo-Scottish Cup. If you haven't watched them videos then go and check them out. But tonight's video is going to be about a cup that not many people have heard of. It was called the Watney Cup and it existed between 1970 to 1973. The Watney Cup was held before the start of the season and was contested by the teams that had scored the most goals in each of the four divisions of the Football League the previous season who had not been promoted or admitted to one of the European competitions. The competition saw two teams from each division taking part, making eight participants in total. The competition was a straight knockout format. Each match was a one-off with no replays. The final took place at the home ground of one of the finalists rather than a neutral venue such as Wembley Stadium, Hillsborough or Villa Park. From the second season of the competition onwards, the offside law was applied from the edge of the penalty area only instead of the halfway line. This measure was designed to reduce midfield congestion and promote more goals at a time when defences were becoming much more organised and better. The first ever penalty shootout in England took place in the semi-final of the 1970 Watney Cup between Hull City and Manchester United and was won by Manchester United. The first footballer to take a kick was George Best and the first to miss up the penalty was Dennis Law, whose attempt was saved by Hull goalkeeper Ian McKenzie. McKenzie became the first player to miss a deciding kick when he shot wide after taking the fifth kick for Hull in the shootout. The initial teams that formed the Watney Cup in 1970 were Derby County, Manchester United from the 1st Division, Hull City and Sheffield United from the 2nd Division. The 3rd Division, the two sides were Fulham and Redden and the 4th Division were Aldershot Town and Peterborough United. The inaugural winners of the Watney Cup in 1970 were Derby County who defeated Manchester United 4 goals to 1 at the baseball ground. Other winners of the trophy in 1971, Colchester United defeated West Bromwich Albion in penalties at the Hawthorns. In 1972, Bristol Rovers defeated Sheffield United in penalties at Eastfield Stadium. And the final ever winners of the Watney Cup were Stoke City, who defeated Hull City two goals to nil at the Victoria Ground. Following the dissolution of the competition in 1975, the trophy itself was put up for sale and purchased by Derby Museum who presented it back to Derby County, the inaugural winners. It was put on display in the club trophy cabinet where, in 2018, it was spotted by the chairperson of Stoke City's Fans Council who helped arrange a share deal between Derby and Stoke City, who had been the last winners prior to the competition finishing. The competition itself was named after a sponsorship deal with Watney Man Brewery, the first tournament for English Football League clubs to sell its naming rights to. The official name of the tournament was the Watney Man Invitational Cup. So that concludes my video on the Watney Cup, which was a short-lived competition between 1970 and 1973. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. Up until a couple of weeks ago, I'd never heard of the Watney Cup. It was only brought to me attention by some of the people that left comments and said, do the Watney Cup, please, do the Watney Cup. And there was quite a few people that asked me to do it, so... I researched it and I've done that video for you tonight. And uh, once again, if you like History of Football on YouTube, I also run a TikTok, Instagram and Facebook page. Go and check that out. I'll put a little link in the description below for those. But anyways, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch us all later in the next one. Tatty bye for now.